Hi, it's Mark for Ableton Daily. Transposing audio clips in Ableton Live. I have some tips for you. Now, most of you probably already know how to transpose an audio clip. It's fairly easy to do. You would just double click on an audio clip inside the timeline. And then Live will display some clip and sample options in the lower left of the screen. You can just drag the transpose knob and turn this up or down adjusting the pitch or the key of the clip. But let's just say that you wanted to transpose more than one clip at the same time. Well, you can do this. First, make sure that you have at least double-clicked on one of the audio clips in the project, and then hold down the Shift key and click on another audio clip. And now Live will display these little diagonal lines in the sample and clip header, just letting you know that you have selected more than one clip. So that's pretty nice to have. And then now I can just go down here to transpose and change the transposition of more than one clip. And I'll go ahead and play this back. Another cool thing is that any transpositions that you do to clips inside Live are non-destructible. That means that if you transpose a clip and then decide later to go back and readjust the transposition, it will retain the highest quality possible, not destroying the audio, retaining the original file. So that's really nice. Or let's just say that you wanted to apply the high quality setting to more than one clip you can also do this. I have HQ or the high quality button turned on by default using the preferences in live. You can do that. Or you can just select more than one audio clip and then turn on the high Q button. The high Q button live uses a very sophisticated transposition algorithm that will give you higher quality when changing the pitch and altering the key of an audio clip. So that's really nice to have. Another cool thing is that if you select more than one audio clip, you can adjust the overall gain for both clips. Look at this. This is something that I use all the time. If I have a long sample that I've sliced up into separate parts, let me go ahead and give you an example. I'll just uh, select an area here of this clip and hold down Command E, which is Control E on the PC, and that will slice right where I have the locator. So I can move this over, hold down Command E once more, Control E on the PC or Windows, and that will slice the clip. And if you wanted to change the gain for the entire, or for an entire regioned area, like let's say this entire loop, but you didn't want to change the overall tracks volume, you can just double click on one clip hold down the shift key and then select the last clip in the range which would be this one over here and then I can change the gain for all the slices here look at that another cool tip is that if you have a project you're working on let's say it's about three or four minutes long or oh, however long it is and you want to change the pitch or transpose all the audio clips in that track. Well, instead of dragging the mouse and selecting all the clips, an easy way to do this is just to right click on the audio channel or MIDI channel, and you have an option down here called Select Track Content, and that will select all the clips within that channel. So then when after you do this, you can just come down here to the sample options and transpose all the clips inside this one track. So that's really useful if you wanted to adjust the pitch or the key of the song or the chord, and that really comes in useful there. And if you wanted to adjust the overall gain for all the clips in an audio track. You can also adjust the warp options as well and set your clips to loop or to not loop. And there you have it. Another tip one last tip for you. You're not only just restricted to working inside or transposing mini clips only inside one channel. 
you can also select clips out of the channel that you're currently working in into another channel and you can double click on let's say this clip up here and I can hold down the shift key and click on a clip in another channel above or below it so I'll hold down shift and I'll click on this clip down here so now I'm selecting all these clips and also I have a clip select selected on a different channel I'll go ahead and unmute this clip here and let's go ahead and play this back and I think this is a little uh, drum loop or something like that all right let's go ahead and transpose This is Mark, and this is Ableton Daily. Please subscribe if you like the videos, or send me a comment, and I'll get back to you. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.